walk me through what you saw when you decided to make that path to Devontae instead of taking the shot yourself. Um, I just seen him in rhythm. Um, that's the strike. I see him work on and um, practice and, and shoot around. And it just felt comfortable. It felt like the right play to do. Um, at the end of the game, we stepped right into it and it, it knocked through. You were confident you could make it? I was. I mean, I've, I definitely would have shot at myself if I wasn't. But I felt like the whole game was um, me getting into the lane and, and attracting a lot of bodies and, and then finding, finding the guys. So um, we, we made a uh, he was shot to me. You had some big bodies to deal with. How do you think your team did limiting Rudy Gobert and dealing with the how he played in the pick and roll setting screens for his guards? The defense was really, really good, especially from her, Nikhil, um, Devontae, Josh Harden. And that's been pretty consistent from them, um, game in and game out. Game out. Um, so it was important for us to come in um, Utah with, with, um, with their crowd and it being so hard to play here to have the intensity that we had and the defensive pressure that we had and come out with a win tonight. And then hopefully it'll build a momentum for us um, next game and then we continue to go. What, what would you say about the progress you guys are making as a team? Do you were able to respond every time they build a lead and swing rally and lead the third game? Basically match from blow for blow for four quarters. Well, it's growth. You know, because um, I even turned the basketball over in some key moments. And I definitely thank Devontae tonight for, I say, even saving me tonight. Um, I had a turnover to Jonas where I passed was too hard to him at the end of the game. Um, missed a, a mid, mid range pull up at the end of the game. And for him to pick me up, um, it, was, it, was, it was good to see tonight. It's, it's a little bit of a scheduling quirk that you guys. We'll face each other again tomorrow night. Um, what what do you uh, take from this game going forward in the next game? I mean, what, what's the most important thing? The defensive pressure. We have to continue the defensive pressure that we had tonight, playing physical, knowing um, Rudy Gobert is um, going to set hard screens and roll to the basket and then have outside shooters on <clears throat> on the offensive end. Um, it's important for me to keep my turnovers down and, and be more efficient and my offense and, 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 and noticing things and adjusting well to it and um, leading the team um, with my pace. I think we slowed down a little bit in that fourth quarter. We didn't have much pace in, in our in our offense, but hopefully it pulled it out. That's good. Start with Andrew. Hey, Brandon, you mentioned the, uh, I mean, the pass of Jonas that, that kind of went off of him in the, the missed mid-range. How, how much in that last sequence to Devante, are you mindful of that? Are you looking like, okay, let, what's the what's the best play here instead of maybe trying to force another shot that maybe I, in a way, try to make up for that? Well, that was pretty much the whole fourth quarter um, other than Jonas, my turnover to Jonas and, um, and some late clock uh, shots that I had to put up. Um, that was kind of my approach, just trying to get the best shot on the floor every single time down. And whether it was a kick to the wing, whether it was a drive and a cut to the basket, whether it was me shooting my own shot, I was trying to get the best shot for the team every time down. And at the end, it just felt like a rhythm shot for Devontae um, coming down the floor. And it was, I think it was a good idea not for Willie not to call a timeout. And we had a, um, the momentum and, and the push and um, we just stepped right into it. Oh, well.